Hello and welcome to Our Year with the Ears, our daily vlog where we relive our year living in the Walt Disney World Resorts in 2019. Today is day 289. It's moving day once again, so sadly we are leaving our beautiful theme park view room here at Grand Floridian Main Building and heading to one of the cheapest places you can stay on Disney property. We are going over to Fort Wilderness to stay in an RV. We do have a full hookup campsite. This is something we have never done on Disney property before. We're very excited about it. So we got all packed up this morning, headed down to club level, had some breakfast, and then went back to our room, called Bell Services to transfer our luggage over, and then we took an Uber over to Fort Wilderness. When we got to Fort Wilderness, we got all checked in. Our campsite is ready. It doesn't take a lot to get to that point, but our RV is not here yet. It is coming from a local family that has started renting out their RV, so they asked us to review it, and this was completely free on our part. We just had to pay for the campsite. It was incredibly kind of them. I know some of you would love the link to that, However, unfortunately, 2020 did take a toll and they did have to sell the RV. They no longer do this, but it was incredibly kind of them to allow us to review this for them in 2019. While we waited for our RV, we did go over. We have rented a golf cart, mm -hmm. but because we did it a little too late, we were only able to get one night while we're here, but we will take that one night. Anytime we can have a golf cart, we're very excited. So we decided just to ride around and look at all the decorations. And because it's coming up to Halloween, there were a ton of Halloween mm -hmm. decorations all over the resort. So many people come for like the entire month of October mm -hmm. or several weeks, and they just set up all these inflatables and all these lights and all these decorations for Halloween. It looks really cool in it the does. daytime when you can see all of them, but it's even better at night when they're all lit up. So we're looking forward to driving around tonight once it gets dark and checking them out too. But for now, since we're just killing time, we drove around and kind of explored Fort Wilderness on the golf cart and went over to our campsite to see if like there's anything we need to do there. Nope, it's all good. We've got a campsite, we're good to go. And shortly after we got to our campsite, they did call us and say, hey, we're here with the RV. We're gonna bring it back and we gave them the campsite number. They brought it back, got it all set up for us and then showed us you know, how to do everything with an RV because yeah. we had no idea what we were doing. And then after they left, we did a full tour of the RV just like we do the other rooms on property. Uh, and then we've got a TV over there as well. And one really cool thing about the TVs, not just in this bedroom, but in the rest of the RV as well, is they're hooked up to Disney's channels, Disney's TV service. So you do have that same familiar Disney schedule channel on all the TVs in the camper. So that's pretty cool. Really like that. I was not expecting that at all, but it's kind of fun. They have the hookup here for that uh, at the campgrounds. And if you would like to see that entire tour, it is linked down in the description below and up there in the corner. Once we were done with the tour, we did spend even more time here in the RV, just checking everything out. This is a brand new 2019 RV. We have never stayed in anything like this. It has so many cool features, including a fireplace that I'm so excited about. It is fake, don't worry about it, but it still looks really cool. You can change the colors on it. I'm very excited about this. We also didn't realize what all we would have access to, and they do have lighters and charcoal and a grill. So we're like, okay, we definitely have to place an order for some food because we're gonna do some grilling tomorrow and we're gonna have so much fun. One place I have not placed an order yet that I've been asked about is walmart.com. So I've not experienced their grocery delivery. So I went to walmart.com and did place an order with them and it will come tomorrow morning. So I'll be able to review that whole process and we'll get food that we can enjoy grilling. After I placed the order, we got back in the golf cart and continued just driving around, checking out the different campsites and honestly, just having fun driving around in the golf cart because it's a really fun experience. We haven't had a car in a really long time. Mm -hmm. So this is basically the equivalent of us having a car right now. And we're really enjoying it. And it was really nice out too. There was a it pretty was. good breeze out. Mm -hmm. It wasn't ridiculously hot today. I mean, it was hot, it's Florida, but it wasn't ridiculously hot and the breeze was nice. So it was just fun to ride all around Fort Wilderness, check out all the different decorations and stuff and go explore and see what we could find going on around the resort. When we were done touring around, we did go up to the front of the resort and park the golf cart. Then we called an Uber to come and pick us up and take us back to the Grand Floridian because we still have club level access mm -hmm. until the end of the day. So we're gonna go and get food for dinner and also for dessert. When we got there, they had everything out and ready to go. They had a soy glazed pork belly that was delicious. Had little mandarin orange slices in there with it. I absolutely 
absolutely love that. They also had beef and potato croquettes that were really good as well. I was very happy we came back because there's some really good food here tonight. They also had some cilantro lime shrimp, which is what I was really excited about. I got several little plates of these. I mean, I gotta be honest, I know that they're doing the little plates that it looks really pretty and you take less, but honestly, that just encourages me to take more because I feel like I'm getting less. I really think that's backfiring on them. And of course, they had all the meats and cheeses and crackers, all those things they normally have but we're kind of meat and cheese and crackered out, so we really focused on the entrees tonight. We ate our food, and then when we were done, we did edit together the tour that we shot over in the RV, and since we're just sitting here waiting around for dessert, went ahead and uploaded that to YouTube and Facebook while we were sitting there. While that was going, they had desserts come out, and so we went over to get ourselves some desserts, and much like they've had other nights, they had things like cookies and brownies mm -hmm. and cupcakes and lots of different types of tarts, Tonight they also had cream puffs that were delicious and they had this little chocolate cup that had chocolate mousse in it. Mm -hmm. They were incredibly rich, but with a glass of milk, they were amazing. And they were able to make a few for me without the sprinkles on top because I love chocolate and I really, really wanted to try these. They were so good. After we had our fill of desserts, we sadly had to leave club level and it is a very stark contrast going from theme park view main building Grand Floridian to <laughs> Fort Wilderness and the camper. Totally different experience, but we're excited to try it out. Yeah. We did head out of the Grand Floridian. On the way out, we stopped and listened to the orchestra for just a couple minutes while we waited for our Uber to get there. And once they arrived, we did go back over to Fort Wilderness and got in our golf cart there at the front, but we aren't going back to our RV just yet. We have some things we wanna do. First stop is the movie Under the Stars. We wanted to go see if they're still doing it and what's going on there tonight. It looks like they have Nightmare Before Christmas playing, which is a great movie. After the movie was over, we hopped back in the golf cart and took off around the resort because all those decorations that were up during the day are now lit up at night and we wanna go see as many as we can. We drove around all the different loops and it was a lot busier than we expected here at Fort Wilderness because Magic Kingdom was open until 10 tonight. So everyone was just starting to get back from the park. There were a lot of people on the roads, a lot of golf carts on the road, but we still loved going around and seeing all these amazing Halloween decorations. It was so much fun. We went live on Facebook for a little while just showing some of the different loops because they have some amazing decorations here. People go all out and the crazy thing is, it's not even Halloween yet. So there's gonna be even more coming in the next couple weeks and it is going to look awesome. We took lots and lots of pictures while we were driving around, enjoyed going live and showing everything off for our late night stream on Facebook. Once we ended the stream, we continued just driving around because we're really enjoying the golf cart and since we only have it for this one day and have to turn it in tomorrow, we're going to enjoy it as much as we possibly can. While we were driving around, we noticed the comfort stations, which are the stations that those in the RV and tents can use to shower, use the washroom, but from the outside, I didn't think they looked very nice. And Robert had talked about using them. I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Mm -hmm. Look a little sketchy. But when I walked inside the girls' bathroom, I was so impressed with how clean it was and how much nicer it looks on the inside than the outside. When I saw it, I was like, okay, I've seen the shower over in the RV. It's really small. I'm probably gonna wind up over here at the comfort <laughs> station because they have big showers and I just am not so sure about the RV thing. It just, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. After we checked those out, we drove around for just a short while longer before heading back to our RV. And that was the end of our day today. So we'll see you tomorrow. For our year with the ears.